Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. This video here, I'll be doing a teardown on an HP Pro One 600 series. This here is a touch screen, and this touch screen here is 2.21 inch, 21.5 uh, inch touch screen, all in one HP computer. Let's see if I can show you the model number here. So if you can see it here, it says that uh, HP Pro One 600 G5 series. Um, so it should look something like this. Okay, and I'll show you the back of it. And that's how the computer looks like. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, the first thing I need to do is to remove the stand and as you see here at the bottom there are two screws that holds onto this plate, the stand, so let's go ahead and remove it. You can use a screwdriver to do so or you can just twist it uh, just using this leverage and twist to remove the stand. So for those of you who wants to upgrade the RAM, uh, this is your chance to do so. And I believe it comes with a 4 gigabyte RAM or it could be an 8 gigabyte RAM. Uh, but if you want to upgrade to a higher RAM, uh, just follow this video. So when you get to this point, uh, the next thing you need to do is, if you can see this little clipper, so push the clipper, and at the same time, you want to push and pry this stand, okay? So once you have that Remove the next thing is there are four screws, two on the top and two at the bottom, and they are just a regular Phillips screws. Alright, so once you have all the screws removed, um, the next thing you want to do is you can slowly pry it open. There's nothing else is holding it. It just that four screws. And here you can just pry open the entire back plate right here. Okay, once you have that open you can just put it on the side here you get to see the entire back of the computer over here would be your m.2 ssd drive which has your windows 10 on it and all your information here is your regular 2.5 hard drive mounting bracket for those of you who wants to add additional space to your computer you can buy a regular 2.5 inch hard drive and install into here this bracket it looks like there's only one screw uh, there's only one screw that holds onto the bracket so once you remove this one uh, this cable right here this one here is actually that SATA controller for you to push in the hard drive. Okay, so this is your CPU fan. Let me see if I can uh, show it to you.
Okay, so this is the bracket. You install the hard drive. Let's see if I can find the hard drive. Hold on. Yeah, so this would be the regular 2.5 inch hard drive. And this would be the uh, controller, the SATA controller. And you can just push it in, install, and put the two four screws if you have, right? Both two on both sides, and then that's how you have additional um, storage on your on your D drive or the E drive. All right, so I'm not going to do that for this, but I just wanted to show you on the video. Okay, so let me put this one back on. Okay, so if you have problem with your CPU fan, um, it's very straightforward. So this is the CPU, uh, this is the fan cable. So go ahead and disconnect the cable. Okay, and then there are three screws that holds onto it. Okay, so here's your CPU fan. If you want to replace them, all right, and this is your Wi Fi card. Your CPU is here, and this is your heatsink. And here's your RAM. As you can see, this is a DDR4 RAM. So it says PC4, that stands for DDR4, and this is a 4 gigabytes. So if you want to increase the RAM capacity, uh, you have additional slot right here, and you can go ahead and add and increase your RAM. You want to do 4 and 4, or maybe do an 8 and 8, uh, it's your choice. And right here, finally, this would be your M.2 uh, Windows drive. And if you want to do a replacement, uh, you can go ahead and replace to a larger M.2 for your Windows uh, C drive. Okay, finally, and this green board here would be your motherboard. Um, if you have a bad LCD screen or if you need to change out the screen, um, to me, it doesn't seem like this screen is replaceable. The way they built it is all together in one piece. So you may have to buy a replacement or refurbish uh, exact same model of this HP Pro 1 600 series and you can swap the entire motherboard over. Okay, so um, at this point, that's pretty much it. And let me go ahead and put the CPU fan back on first. So make sure you remember to put the cable first because that's very important. Without that cable plugged in, your CPU fan would not spin. So 
so there are only three screws um, there's nothing else that holds on to the CPU fan so it's very straightforward Okay, and if you want to put it back, so just by all means, align the screws in the right position, okay? And then just gently press all around the corner, and that thing will snap back onto it. And once you have that in place, go ahead and put the four screws back together. So this process here for adding additional uh, RAM or changing out the hard drive or adding additional uh, storage capacity or maybe change out the motherboard or your CPU fan uh, this is very straightforward replacement and I hope this video can show you uh, or give you some kind of confidence to go ahead and, and try it yourself okay so once you have that in place uh, the first thing you need to do is to slide the thing on the top go underneath securely done and you press it and it will lock right back in once the thing is locked as you know the final step is to install this plate okay once you have it in place and go ahead and slowly screw it in and this process and that should be it so um, if you have any question please comment below um, until next time i try to make another video uh, something that related to uh, computer repair or if you have any question regarding about uh, any electronic stuff just comment below or you know go to our website send me a question and i'm more than happy to make a video and show you the process on how to do so all right so i hope you like the video um, and i hope that you learned something from this video if you have any question comment below uh, give me a thumbs up like the video uh, i really appreciate and until next time please take care